Hey guys, welcome back to the final board of Mario Party, and uh, today we're going to play the Eternal Star board, and uh, this time uh, we're going to play with Mario, Peach, Yoshi, and DK, I mean sorry, Wario, <laughs> I don't even remember who I'm supposed to play with, and um, I randomly chose who was going to be in this video, or who was going to be playing who's gonna play what part and uh, Peach was the choice for me and then uh, Yoshi's gonna be on easy Wario's gonna be a normal or it's gonna be on hard and so this time since it's the final board we're gonna play for 35 turns and we're gonna find out who is gonna win Mario Party 1 so anyways um, the board itself is okay there's a lot of, there's not, it's not really that big of a board, but there's certain mechanics in it that are really not so great. So, as usual, Troopa says his normal stuff, and, <laughs> well, not quite on this board, because Bowser's gonna take over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yada, 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 whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, there's, warp. The, the thing to get around this board is the warp machines and um, on every star there's about two or three of them. On every piece of the star there's two or three of them and they take you to a different part of the the star itself. Some may go to Bowser, some may go back to the beginning. So in this case we're gonna, I'm gonna go first. Actually we're gonna go in the same order we I chose them in. So. And then of course 10 coins. So on this board you know, there are seven stars, seven baby Bowsers, and um, you still have to pay 20 coins, and that's a great first row for me, a one. Um, you have to pay 20 coins and uh, you have to play a dice game with baby Bowser. And if you roll a higher number then baby Bowser you win the star if you don't and you do have a star uh, you'll lose the star you lose a star I should say if you if you lose and you don't have any stars then nothing happens hopefully we'll see a question mark or two in this board um, those are very hideous on this board so when they come up and so we're gonna just change the minigame settings and message settings. And this board is kind of long, it depends on you know how many times people hit question marks because the animation is just so slow for that part. So our first game is gonna be for Musical Mushroom. And we haven't played this one in a long time, actually. I know it didn't happen in uh, I don't think it happened in Bowser's Magma Mountain, so hopefully I don't get stuck behind a mushroom. That's good actually. So I won that one. That's that's a good start so far. And uh, Bowser does, I think, take a star on this board if you pass him. If you do, if you don't have a star, I think he takes twenty coins. And then he resets all the warps, so all the warps go to different places. I think there's like four pathways. Two Bowser's. I mean, two, four pathways that can be taken for the warp machines. So here's the first star situation. So first you got a bet twenty, and then then you roll a dice that is either eight, nine, or ten, and I get a ten, so that's good. And then I can't lose at this point, so maybe Bowser rolls a two. His dice is actually one through ten, so. So, um, it's much harder for him to win, but there's still a chance that he could win. Slow block, okay. So anyways, um, let's see. Nothing much happening so far. And then, of, of course, when the stars, um, 
when you get the star, then they turn into exclamation points, uh, marks, or chance times. So, let's see where that goes. And here's the first case of the warp going to the beginning, so. You just gotta figure out what path takes you to the right place, so. And that's probably not the right one. The other one is probably goes to the metal section of the star. So in the first 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 player game is pedal power and the hard player the hard player computer should be able to do this very well. So yeah, I don't know why he stopped. <clears throat> he stopped again. I don't really know why. He's going pretty fast though. So he got literally lucky there. A few more seconds. If he waited a few more seconds, he probably would have been dead. So I think on this board, um, on this video, we're gonna. I'm not gonna really talk about that much. I don't really have that much to say. Um, the only thing I really have to say is, you know, I haven't gotten anything from what I should play for tomorrow yet. Yeah. Bumper balls. Why are they targeting me? <laughs> Oh good, great. This is the first time this is the first time I've actually won this game. Every other time it's either been draw or fail, so that's a good that's a good start. Second turn and we're doing well. Four. Where does this one go? Oh, it goes right there. That's good. Um, but I don't have enough coins, so I'm gonna have to wait till next turn. He should go down, but he doesn't have enough coins again. So he's gonna go back to the star. I bet the other one on the top... You know, I took the lower path when I went to the top part of the star. The top part... The upper, um... Warp probably goes to the star too, so... He just, he's, <laughs> he landed right back where he started. That's great. Anyways, um, yeah, this board, I, or this video, I should say, I don't really have that much to say today. Um, except that, you know, if somebody suggests something for tomorrow, I'll probably, that's probably what I'll be doing. So, I keep going up. Oh, well, Mar Mario actually has his coins this time, so he can do it. But... Let's see what the Mario rolls. A 9. So you can still roll a 10 and still win, but chances are not that likely. And a 2. So... Mario gets a star 2, so he's now in 2nd. But yeah, the first person to suggest something for tomorrow's board, uh, tomorrow's game probably will get it, so... I haven't really heard anything from anybody yet. Um, he's stealing coins from me, of course. That's very, very original. But I guess because I have the most coins, that's why he took it from me. But he still would take it from me even if I didn't have the most amount of coins. That's no, that doesn't make sense at all. When that happens. Yeah, I'm gonna beat these things. The hard computers are just really ridiculously easy. As long as you keep pumping the... The pump. Pumping the pump. <laughs> then, uh... You'll be fine. If you do it at maximum capacity, you should be fine. Now I'm gonna... Take the lead back from Mario. Right now. And then, uh... Um, so this time I'll have a second chance. Now this time I do have a star, so I am risking a star and 20 coins. So, to get this, so hopefully I get a 10. And that's a 10, so that's perfect. I won't lose on this board, on this one. You roll the 7, that's good. Oh, by the way, once you get all 7 of the Baby Bowser stars, then, um, then they refill all seven spots again. 
I'm not gonna go up. For some reason, something tells me that it's gonna be a Bowser or something. And that's the one thing I don't like about this board. You can't really tell if a warp is gonna take you to Bowser or if it's gonna take you to Boo. And there's actually a Boo space on that small island right there. To the left of Bowser, there's a star. I mean, not a star. A Boo space. If I actually had the Boo in, in place. And, uh... You know, it's kind of difficult to tell which one will go to Boo and which one will go to Bowser. So, just by looking, you have to play through it. And the thing is, if you land on Bowser, then you know you have to start over, and on top of that, all the things switch. So, it's kind of a mess. So, that's kind of why I don't like this board that much. It's okay. The board's alright. I mean, I have it has interesting things, but. I don't like certain mechanics like the switching and stuff. It just makes me kind of more confused, you know, which way to go. So hopefully, you know, I think the first path usually is the best. As long as you don't run into Bowser, then you know you should know the pathway to everything. Or you won that while well, he was controlling it, so he did exactly what he's supposed to do. So whatever. <laughs> And this one takes me up there. I still don't have quite enough coins, though. Now that one might go to Boo, too. I don't really know. The one next to that Bowser's face. I can't remember at this moment. But Boo's not there, so I don't really care about that, so... Let's see... As for the SMW hack, um, one person has said something, and um, just see what name that is, I don't remember. Happy Tree Friends Fan 3. Um, he's the only one that, I mean, is it he? Let me make sure. Let's see. Not subscribed to him. I am fan. Something sound doesn't sound right. <laughs> I really wish that the. And for some reason, Mario got the. Here we go again. That same exact thing. Oh, there it is. Stupid game. It's like, you know, I pressed all the buttons correctly. Why didn't I get it? I mean, yeah. Um, he's he's uh messaged me about the hack and yeah he had it. He had an interesting th question about you know when when the second part is gonna come out. I don't really. No, oh gosh. Okay, so here's the first question mark. Um, it just the question mark sent everyone back to the start, and hopefully we won't run into too many of those. Otherwise, um, could be kind of bad. We won't be able to move anywhere. I just feel like that's bad. <laughs> that would be really bad. But um, he's he's he, he's uh, commented on the video and. Uh, he asked about the second part. Um, I was the second part is probably not gonna be happening anytime soon. I have all the concepts and the ideas and what I want to say about the story, but another question mark. Great, um, but I don't I I don't feel the need to really do one right now because I just I just feel like I really work too hard on that. Uh, it's a, it's very tough to do one. It's it's very tough to do a hack by yourself. So it's gonna go up. It's gonna have a next another roll too. Please do not roll a question mark. Oh great, another question mark. Don't these computers even think about what they're trying to do? It just doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that to yourself? Except for maybe who's gonna hit the question mark square. 
So, um, the next game we're gonna play is Mushroom Mixup, and that's... Um, I think the second hack, though, is probably gonna be a collaboration hack. So, if somebody wants to do the collaboration hack with me, I'm okay with it. And it could be a lot of people, I don't really care so much. I just, I just don't really want to do it myself. It's a lot, of, it's really a lot of work for one person, and, you know, testing is kind of bad, too. It's always better to get a second opinion when you test, so. That's why my hack is in beta right now, I just don't really know if it 